to Scott County now. A Georgetown man is in jail tonight, accused of beating his caregiver to death yesterday. It happened on Markham Drive, and Georgetown police say this isn't the first time they've been to that home. Jacqueline and I spoke with some neighbors, and she has the LEX 18 big story at 6. Denise Hamilton was a caregiver. Last night, she was found dead in her Georgetown home. And it happened too close to comfort for me. It was really close. Hunter Moore told Georgetown police that God had spoken to him and told him to beat the demons out of Hamilton. Moore told police he took a bat, went downstairs and hit Hamilton in the head, arms and knees. One neighbor says when she got a call something had happened in her neighborhood, she got scared knowing her husband was home alone. It, it kind of spooked me and I hurried up and come home and they had this road blocked from the corner to uh, the so far up this road and wouldn't let me through to even check to see if he was all right. Neighbors tell us Moore was unpredictable and most were terrified of him. They say just this past Sunday, Moore took clocks and guitars from inside his home and smashed them in the middle of the street. Neighbors also say Moore would stand in the driveway talking to trees and that he's the reason most of them had alarm systems in their homes. I don't know him. I just see him around. He could be, he walks around or he's riding his bike or, or a skateboard. Moore is being held in the Scott County Jail. Covering the news in Scott County, Jacqueline Nye, LVX 18 News. Georgetown police say since February, they were called a total of 66 times to Markham Drive. Five of those times were calls related to Hunter Moore.